Hi, I'm Neil from Sewing Street. Today we're going to have a look at some electric scissors that we'll be getting in shortly. So as you know at Sewing Street we always go for really good quality stuff so we've actually looked at lots of different uh, pairs of electric scissors before we decided which ones to bring to air and after much uh, investigation we've decided that these are the best ones we can find so I haven't actually opened this box yet so this is going to be the first time I get to um, view inside it and this is the first time we've done an unboxing as well so it's something exciting and different. So we're going to take a look and have a look what's in there. So I think as customary as it is to do these unboxing videos, um, it's just in a box. So nothing special about that. There's some information on there. So let's get straight into the exciting stuff inside. So let's have a look. Okay, so what have we got in here? We've got, we've got your instruction manual. Um, we've got a screwdriver. Um, let's have a look. We've got a little power adapter. Then we've got one power lead. We've got a second power lead, which we'll put there. You know, run out of space on the camera. We've got a little charging brick by the look of that. That's almost definitely the battery. Well, these are the cutting heads. We've got a little bag of screws. Now we've got the electric scissors itself. So I'm just going to move the box out of the way. And let's get some of these uh, out of wrappers. I'll leave the cutting heads in the wrappers for now. Okay, so let's go through the items uh, one by one. So obviously we've got these are the electric scissors. So you can tell by feeling it's really good quality. It's nice and solid, um, but it's very light as well. But you can tell it's quality there. Um, in the electric scissors, there's actual two adapters. So you've got this one here, which is a rechargeable battery. And this one here, which actually goes with this plug and enables you to use it just off normal power. So you can actually plug this in and you can run the scissors off the mains. And then that just plugs in via this little adapter to your, uh, your main supply. So you can plug that into the wall. This goes into the bottom and that enables you to power it uh, from a normal plug. And they recommend that you can use the scissors for up to eight hours continually. So that's an awful lot of cutting without a rest. So but we'll just move that to one side and have a look at the battery because I haven't got a plug handy. I know everyone's, everyone wants to see it cutting something, don't they? So when we come to your rechargeable battery, that's charged with this lead here. And again, you've got your power adapter there. So you can plug, leave that on charge and then your battery just drops in there to be charged up. And then once charged, and I hope this has got a bit of charge in it because I haven't tried it yet. Let's have a look. Yes, it has. So I'll just take that back out quickly. So we've got the rechargeable battery there. And we can put one of these cutting heads on. So the cutting heads, and it comes with two. And these cutting heads are marked cutting head A and cutting head B. And the difference is, is they're designed to cut different materials. So they're both cut fabric. B is blunt and A is sharp. So... B will cut fabric, no problem. A will cut through other stuff as well, including fabric, thicker fabric, but also um, cut through plastic credit cards and, uh, and thin metal as well. So we'll install the blunt cutting head, cutting head B. So to do that, you've got a little red button here and we just slide that on. And they recommend that you uh, change the heads without the battery installed because you don't want to accidentally set it off. And then it will work without these little screws in. Uh, but these two little screws with the screwdriver just plug, just go into the sides here just to make sure that that's a tight fit. So just put those in. I mean, in reality, I don't think you'll change the head very often at all. I think it's one of those things that you, the, you'll use the head and it'll just stay on. I mean, the blunt head will cut through quite thick fabric. We'll find some in a moment and show you. So I don't think you'll be changing heads, you know, all the time. It'll just be as and when if you need to cut something thicker, really. So we've got the cutting head installed. So battery just goes into the bottom like that. And then you just squeeze the trigger to cut. Simple as that. So I'm just gonna move everything out of the way just so we can focus on the uh, scissors. I bet that's just made a right scraping noise on camera. Um, I'll move the instructions as well. I should probably read those at some point. So these are the scissors all ready to go. You've just got a red button here that you just squeeze that trigger to, to use them. 
And one quite cool thing about these scissors is I've been told that they won't cut your finger. So this could be an absolute disaster live on air. Well, we're not live on pre-recording, but this could be an absolute disaster. So I'm going to give it a try. And uh, Director Joe's currently sweating a bit because he's going to have to ring the ambulance if this goes horribly wrong. But I'm going to give it a try and try and cut my finger. So here we go. Yeah, I've still got a tip for my finger. You're right, Joe. <laughs> so Joe's uh, very relieved. So it won't, I, I, won't, I wouldn't recommend trying to cut your finger with it. I don't think it's a good idea to attempt to take your finger off. But I think if you are cutting, you can be quite confident that it doesn't matter if you just catch your fingers, it's not going to cause any, uh, any injury. So let's get some fabric and try it. And I've uh, stolen a few fabrics out of the box. I'm not sure whether it was the box I should be taking fabrics out of, but I just decided to take it. And I've got, just for a bit of difference, I've got a kind of pleather here, PU leather, because um, that's quite thick. And I've just got some normal cotton. So we'll try it on the uh, leather first. So we'll start off uh, going through one layer, but I think we can soon up this. And the nice thing about the scissors over rotary cutter is with a rotary cutter you'd use it when you're cutting in a straight line. So like a rotary cutter you can cut a nice straight line on there. But if you're doing a pattern, so if we had a paper pattern on here, the nice thing about these scissors is they can cut around corners very easily. So let's have a play with that. that that's actually quite addictive. <laughs> so we've got a nice wavy pattern there and it's very, very easy. So differences between these scissors and other ones that we've seen online is these scissors have a tungsten blade um, and other ones online have got an alloy blade. So the, the tungsten metal that these blades are made out of is very strong and they're very sharp. So they're not going to go blunt very easily and they will cut through, um, you know, quite a thick, a thick object. So another good thing about these scissors is the amount of times that the jaws open and close. And the faster they open and close, the cleaner the cut and the less likely it is to snag. So you can cut very naturally with these very quickly. You don't have to take it steady or worry about it snagging the material. It will just go through it well, like a hot knife through butter. So I'm just going to straighten this edge. I'm going left-handed now. Here you go. So and this is your kind of thicker PU leather. I want to, This is the blunt blade as well, don't forget. And I'm going to fold it now and find out how many layers it will go through. So first I'll fold it in half. So I'm expecting this to go through two layers pretty easily. So let's give that a go. Yeah, obviously not very straight because I didn't hold that very straight, but two layers, no problem for it. And this is the blunt blade. Don't forget we've got blade A, which is a sharper blade if you need more. So let's fold the PU leather in half again. So this is four layers now. Still goes through four layers very easily. So should I go for eight layers with the blunt blade? Well, let's give it a try. And this is the first time I've played with this. So this, is, so, so this may work, it may not. I mean, that is quite thick. I mean. Yeah, you are looking, I'd say that's a good six millimetre thick of uh, PU leather there. Um, and it's folded and bunched at the end. So let's see if this works. And I'm relying on the fact it definitely won't cut my fingers off. Well, yeah. So even with the blunt blade, that still goes through all that, you know, very easily, like a hot knife through butter. If you were holding it properly, you could get a nice clean edge. I mean, I'm trying to do it on camera and hold it one handed and stuff. But that cuts very nicely with a very, very clean edge. So these electric scissors are coming to air very soon. So we'll, the, we'll announce the price closer to date. Um, but they are very good quality scissors, very sharp blades, tungsten blades, very high cut rate and very good. So if you struggle with scissors, like just the cutting motion or, you know, you've got a lot of projects and you just don't want to go through it, these are absolutely ideal. So just to recap, you've got the rechargeable battery so you can just run it as a standalone unit like that. You also, it also comes with the wall, the wall power, so you can pair it straight off the mains, so you haven't got to worry about the battery running out. So if you're in your sewing room, you'll probably have that plugged in. It's got a very long cable. I won't unravel it, but it's uh, about two meters long, the cable is, so the plug can be a, a way away from your scissors, and it won't get in the way. But fully wireless mode, you've got no plug to worry about. You can take it with you, absolutely brilliant. You also get your second cutting head, which is your sharp one. And we've just used the blunt one to cut through six layers of PU leather. Uh, but you also get the sharp one as well to cut through other things. I'm looking around the room now to see if there's anything I can cut off, but uh, I'm not sure there is without making someone very unhappy. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'll just quickly show you it cutting through the cotton as well. Obviously, cotton's thinner than PU leather, but we'll just quickly demonstrate that. We'll still use the blunt blade. So we've got some nice navy, uh, navy cotton here. I'm not even sure it's worth just trying it on one layer, but we will. So go through one layer of cotton. I said very easily. We can do shapes. So I am actually left-handed, so when I want to do something more intricate, I usually swap to my left hand as well. There you go. So that piece of material is no good for absolutely anything now, <laughs> because of the way I've cut it. Uh, but you can see how easy it was to cut through that. And this is the blunt blade, don't forget. So should we test how many layers of uh, cotton we can get through? So let's fold it in half first. And so we've got two layers of cotton. Very easy. Let's fold it in half again. Four layers of cotton. Still very easy. Fold it in half again. Eight layers of cotton. I'm going to run out of my times tables knowledge if I go any further. But Eight, no problem. Should we go again? Let's fold it in half again. What's two eights, anyone? 16, thanks Joe. I knew I should have gone to school. So 16 layers of, 16 layers of cotton there. It's getting harder, Joe, fold it in half. Yeah. What are we on? 32. 32, okay. <laughs> I'll be surprised if it cuts through this, but give it a go. Okay, so yeah, it, it started to struggle at 32 layers of cotton. Um, but that is still very, very good. Bear in mind, that's the blunt blade and this hasn't been charged. So you imagine with a sharp blade fully charged, you're probably going to be able to double that again. But you can only fold a piece of paper in half so many times, can't you? Is it seven times? We, we learned about this in the office. Apparently, if you fold a piece of paper in half 42 times, you can make it to the moon. So there, there's an interesting fact as well. So not only am I showing you how to use these scissors, I'm also imparting valuable knowledge. So there you go, the electric scissors coming to Sewing Street very soon. We've just seen the blunt blade go through 32 layers of cotton, very lightweight, um, really good item. Cheers.